Hey guys, I hope that you're doing great and I hope that you're excited because in this video, we are gonna learn how to make paper blooming flowers. So to start out, all you need is a piece of paper. It can be white copy paper like this one or construction paper or really any kind of paper that you have around your house. Um, so you need a piece of paper, you need a pencil, scissors, and you need some colors if you want to decorate your flowers. So for um, this project, I'm using two different shades of purple, a dark purple, a light purple, and a few shades of orangish yellowish colors. So I have this darker orange, a light orangish yellow, and then a yellow marker. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, paint, really anything you want to decorate your flowers with, or you don't have to decorate them at all. It's up to you. You also need something with water in it. I have a Tupperware here with water in it, um, but you can use a bowl, you can use a sink, the bathtub, anything that can hold water. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a flower. Um, the only thing you need to make sure of is that the petals on your flower are wide enough apart that you can cut in between them. So you're gonna start out by drawing a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. From there, you're gonna draw the petals. You can make them as big as you want, as small as you want, whatever shape you wanna make. <clears throat> so it doesn't have to be perfect see so there's one and I'm gonna use the same piece of paper to make another one with long petals more like a sunflower I don't know if you notice but I'm wearing my flower shirt since we are making paper flowers and there we go next thing you do is you're gonna want to cut them out this takes a little bit longer so I went ahead and cut mine out before I made this video so you're gonna to wanna to take time to cut those out. If you wanna pause the video right now to cut yours out, you can do that. And then once you've cut out your flowers, you're gonna color them and decorate them any way you want. So I've already done that and I have my purple flower with polka dots and I have my yellow flower right here. This one's my favorite. And now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the petals and you're gonna fold the petals down. Like I said, if you need to pause this video at any time to catch up, feel free to do so. So you're gonna fold all the petals into the center like so. And you're gonna do that with both of your flowers or however many you choose to make. It can be fun to, to race to see which one will bloom first. This one's a little trickier. I didn't think about this, but the petals are so long that they're ha I'm having a hard, hard time folding them in. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. And then you're gonna place them in the water and watch them bloom. You can time them to see how long it takes. You can see which one takes the longest um, and which one blooms fastest. But all you do is you place them um, down into the water with the petals to where they can still open outside of the water, okay? So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you what happens, okay? Here we go. So it looked like the purple flower with the um, fatter uh, petals did better than the yellow flower, unfortunately. Um, however, you saw how they both bloomed and I really hope that um, yours do too. I hope you do an even better job than I did. I would love to see your blooming flowers. Feel free to send me a picture. I'll put my email in the first page of our virtual classroom um, so that you can send me an email with a picture of your flowers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this activity. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.